players, and coaching rumors, as usual, up next. I'm Peter Brown, and you're watching Football Miami TV's Local News. Another player is rumored for Inter-Miami. This time, it's Colombian international Roger Martinez. Paul Tenorio of The Athletic reported that Miami are in negotiations with Martinez for one of two remaining designated player spots. Martinez scored 18 goals in 36 appearances for Chinese Super League team Jiangsu Suning. Whew. Eight appearances for La Liga side Villarreal and currently plays for Club America in Liga MX, where he has scored 17 goals in 65 appearances and won a Liga MX title and Copa MX title. At 25 years of age, Roger Martinez is in his prime and could do some real damage in MLS. Fan reaction, however, is mixed on Martinez as a DP. Surprise, another Argentine player is rumored to be headed to Miami. The Sebastian Drusi rumor is back on. Drusi rumor popped up last month and it's back. ESPN reports that Inter Miami are in the market to acquire the Zenit player. The deal is said to be 50-50 eh, to get done. Druissi, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, started his career at River Plate where he had 21 goals and 67 appearances before being transferred to Russian side Zenit on a four-year deal for over $16 million where he has 17 goals and 69 appearances. At 23 years of age, he fits the model for young and exciting players that can make an impact in MLS before being sold off after a couple of solid years. This deal is a bit of a long shot, but would be pretty exciting. The issue here with both of these potential signings are that neither are the big household name we were expecting. They're not Cavani, they're not Suarez, they're not Falcao, Silva, or, well, you fill in the blank, they're not names or faces that the casual fan will flock to see. They're not a name or face you can easily market. But they are young, exciting, up-and-coming stars that can come to South Florida to show the world what they can do and eventually move on up to a bigger club. I always thought we would have mostly a young, exciting young team with one older, more experienced, marketable name. That still may happen. We are hearing that a big name signing is likely to come in the summer transfer window. The plan was to have all DP slots filled by the beginning of the season, but getting the type of player they want has been more challenging than expected. It is looking like the focus will be on the young South American youth for the most part. It worked in Atlanta and it could work here as well. Where do you stand on the rumored designated players and focus on youth? Are you let down if Inter Miami does not sign a known marketable name? Will the tough South Florida market embrace lesser known players? Let us know in the comments below. For me, I'd rather have a young player, young players that are still trying to prove something instead of a over the hill star that might lose focus with the awesome South Florida living. I mean, South Beach is just down the street. Let's finish with some wild speculation because it's fun. Carlo Ancelotti was fired by Napoli on Tuesday after their four nothing win over Genk. Well, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong too, which confirmed their place in the Champions League knockout stage. He is uh, rumored to be favored for the Arsenal job Everton may be interested in the surface services as well, but his name has come up previously about the Inter Miami open manager position. He has a connection with Beckham. He would be a great get for Miami. And uh, back in August, Ancelotti was quoted saying, I think MLS is improving and could be a good experience in the future. It may be crazy, crazy out there, idea, but it would be pretty cool. What do you think? Well, that's it for this week. Make sure to join us 7 p.m. on Sunday for FMTV Weekly, a live show 
that you can participate in. If you missed this past Sunday's show, I urge you to go back and check it out. It was a fun show where we had our guest, Julio El Chiva Mayor Ramos from LA, where he discussed District 9 Ultras and LAFC. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and we will see you right here next week. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>